Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So yesterday I went to Repticon and today I told you guys that I'm going to be showing you all the pickups that I got. I got two new additions and a bunch of supplies and feeders. So let's go ahead and get to them. Okay, so here is everything that I got. So you guys ready? The two new additions are two dart frogs. Look at this guys. I got an Azorius. Let's go. I'm going to be very careful here. Boom. Right there. I don't want to open it up too much, but I don't want to jump out, but he is huge, really healthy. He is a male, and the breeder already told me that he's already calling at night time, so that's going to be awesome. I haven't heard a dart frog call. My other one doesn't call yet, so um, I want to hear him call tonight and see how, see how that is. But it's awesome, guy. Look at that. Beautiful colors. I'm sorry, guys. I already named him. His name is Blueberry. I already got to that, so <laughs> you guys can name this guy, though. This is my other dart frog here. This is a blue jean. Strawberry, let's see here. Boom, let's go over there. This side, you guys see him there? He's a little bit smaller. This is a Tinctorius over there, and this one's a smaller species, so they don't grow too big, but still beautiful, beautiful dart frog. So, I'm also gonna insert a clip of him right now. And then a clip of, I believe this is a she, so a clip of her right now. So those are the actual colors, better picture of them up close. So I'm really, really happy to have these two new additions in my reptile room here. Or I should say just like a pet room instead because I have a reptiles and amphibians now. So yeah guys, I'm super excited to have these now. Like I love dart frogs. If you guys didn't already know, dart frogs are like my favorite animal ever. Like they're so beautiful with all the different colors that they have. So I also got these um, fruit flies to feed them all. So there's a bunch in there. So I gotta have to get that. And then, okay, so I'm gonna show you guys this one. This is a chocolate zebra mix of isopods. So um, these are really good for your live vivariums because they are a cleanup crew. Let me try to get it up closer. They're like, like roly polies. Look at them. So I got a little culture here going on. So I'm not going to put them in my enclosures just yet because I kind of want them to start breeding and just start, you know, making a bunch of more babies in there. Because I feel like I just put them in there. Um, my enclosure is so big and then uh, they'll just get lost. And I, think, I feel like it'll be hard for them to breed. So here is a little small little... A space for them so they can start breeding and then eventually I'll put them into the uh, dark frogs enclosure so yeah this is my first time working with isopods I know I should have got them a long time ago but I just been putting it to the side and been lagging it so I'm really excited to start working with these guys if you don't know isopods are basically a cleanup crew for live vivariums they'll clean up all the dead plants and poop and everything that's just doesn't need to be in there so They'll make the plants nice and healthy and make the enclosure thrive. So these are really, really needed into those live vivariums. But first, like I said, I kind of want the colony to expand a little bit. So I'm going to be taking care of them, feeding them, and then just watching them grow. So this is kind of like another pet here that I have. Look at that. Little zebras. Zebra roly polies. <laughs> Alright, there are my chocolate zebra mix. So besides this, I also got another cleanup crew. These are springtails over here. I got tropical white springtails. And there they are all over the place. You can tell them they're really small. So these are also another cleanup crew for the enclosure. So I'm, I am going to be putting those in my dart frog enclosure. Um, but I have a feeling he's going to be eating all of them. So I'm just going to throw them in there and see how that goes. And good thing my dart frog enclosure is kind of big, so these springtails can hide before my dart frog gets to them. Well, hopefully that's what I'm hoping. Okay, so next up, um, I just got this small magnetic gecko ledge to put on the side of the tank or the glass. And then you put the cup of the food here. So I've been needing this for a long time. I just haven't got it yet, so I'm glad I got that. And basically the rest, guys, is just a bunch of feeders. So I got some super worms here, some small mealworms, some wax worms. Wax worms will fill up my leopard gecko because I kind of want to gain weight, so that's why I got these. There are 250 in here, so these are really high in fat. So you guys can see that there. So this should not be a main diet for leopard geckos, but for now, I'm just trying to get them fat. So 
that will help them gain some weight. Okay, I already talked about the fruit flies. And the last thing is this jungle plant, artificial jungle plant. I'll be putting in this enclosure right there. Okay, I also forgot to mention the live moss. I've been wanting live moss for the longest time for my enclosures because it looks so much nicer than just having dirt on there. So here is some live moss right there. Looks like healthy moss, nice and green. So I'm gonna be putting that along the bark with my dry frog enclosure and also like some soil. So I just want that to grow in there. I also put some in my crested gecko enclosure as well. Okay, and then you're probably wondering why I got this tank. This is a 12 by 12 by 18. I got this because my crested gecko is temporarily gonna go in here just for a little bit, guys. Don't worry. He's gonna be going into a 20 gallon. So you know those 20 gallon tanks? I'm gonna be flipping that on the side and then just putting a bunch of live plants in there making it really nice so I'm working on that guys those live enclosures take a while for shipping and live plants and all that kind of stuff so that's taking a little bit longer but he's gonna be living in a vertical huge tank so he's gonna be going in here for now this one is gonna be going right here in my crested geckos tank so he's going to be going in there. And I also kind of want to change this tank up a little bit because I kind of want it to look more like this. Look at that. It looks so much better. This looks so empty. Um, yeah, so I kind of want to change this up a little bit. I want to put more live plants in there and more hiding spots for my dart frog because I just don't like how this tank is right now. So yeah, Blueberry, my new dart frog, will be going in here. Gusher, are you excited to see your new roommate? Look at him. He's awesome. He's another color. Doesn't care. He's probably jealous like another way. <laughs> Look at him. You're going to have a new neighbor right next to you. So my crested gecko is going to be going into this tank. Just for now. Don't worry, guys. Just for now. Into this tank right here. And then, okay. So then my blue jean, this one is going to be going temporarily into this one right here this little tank so I'm gonna be putting I need to get some more hides in here and just more plants in there so I just took this out of my garage I had it hidden in there so I'll be putting that in there putting some more moisture some hides in there and that's also just temporary so eventually my final plan is for my other dark frog that I said blueberry to go in there this one eventually is going to be going into this tank right here by himself with live plants and everything it's kind of similar to this but in a smaller size, so he's going to be going in here. And then the Crested Gecko that's going to be in here, the one over there, he is going to be going to the 20 gallon tank. So those are my final plans um, that I'm trying to do. So it should all be done within the next week. Look how nice they are. Like I love the colors on these guys. They're so nice. I'm so excited to have them. Uh, I want to put them in the enclosures already, guys. I'm going to cut the video there. I'm sorry. I want to see them jumping around, eating, and doing their frog thing already. I'm sure they're stressed out in there. So I'm going to be cutting the video short there. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video of my pickups that I got from Repticon. I need to go ahead and move some stuff around and then add the frogs to their new enclosures and the temporary enclosures. So I just have a few things to do right now. So I will be showing you guys a video as soon as I'm done with that. Maybe probably feeding the frogs and just showing you around. So be sure you subscribe so you can stay updated with all my pets. Oh, and also comment some names for my blue jean frog. I named the other one Blueberry, so I need some help from you guys. You guys get really creative with the names, so comment down below what you think my other frog should be named. Okay, so for today's post notification shout out, it goes to Tom Gray. Thank you so much for turning on my post notifications, Tom. If you want a post notification shout out, be sure you guys go ahead and turn on the post notification and then comment when done so I know who has done that. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys. Guys, peace. Okay, so if you stay to the end, you're going to be watching me put my blue jean in her new enclosure. Well, her new temporary enclosure. So let's go ahead and put her in there and open this up. Jump out. She's scared. But yeah, this is the temporary enclosure that I have for her. It's a good size. She's a little tiny one. But this is the one that I have in her now. I have some leaf litter in here, some artificial plants, and some moss in the corner over there. And this is some soil and eco all combined. So this is just a temporary enclosure until I finish building everything else. So this will be fine for now. I am going to be getting some coconut height and some more moss and leaf litter in here. Okay, she does not know what to do, so I'm going to help her out a little bit. There. There you go. 
There we go. Now go explore your new enclosure. I'm actually just gonna dump some of this moss in there as well because I can use some more moss. Oh yeah. Oh my god, look at that guys. So awesome. You look amazing. Yeah, this is the new temporary enclosure that I have for her. So she's gonna be staying in here until I finish the other tanks. Okay, so then I moved my crested gecko up here into that enclosure that I was talking to you guys about. So I also got this cups thing up there as well with two plants on the side. And then my crested gecko is down there. Doesn't know what to do because of the new enclosure, but eventually he'll start to climb and then get adjusted to this new tank. And also, once again, this is temporary. This is not his full uh, permanent enclosure. This is just a temporary enclosure for now. And then, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and put my new dart frog in there. Okay, Blueberry, are you ready for your new enclosure? So this is going to be Blueberry's new permanent enclosure. So um, I also want to do change a few things up in here. I want to take out this huge money tree plant because it just grows too fast. And this tank is too small for that, um, for this, this plant right here. So I want to take that out and then just start adding a bunch of more plants in here like smaller plants like these just take a look at all nicer and more hiding spots in there but let's go ahead and put you in there oh well you guys see that he just like jumped from the cup all right go explore your new tank and i'm still gonna make another updated video feeding these guys and just just showing you more of them but there he goes 